Hello guys, today we want to look at 3D printing in another way. We want to do an IRT or infrared thermo thermography or a infrared imaging of 3D printing. First of all, I want to thank my buddy Hannes who has such a camera to visualize infrared uh, radiation and he's an electrician and also does uh, infrared thermography. I will post a link to his company in the description below. So thank you for that and thank you for this awesome idea. We looked at 3D printing with two models. First of all, we checked the standard 3D Benchy and traced the infill when it's printed. Then we kind of went more scientific. I designed this uh, single wall a rectangle and we traced the temperature on this uh, long wall here to see how high is the temperature gradient with the cooling fan off and with the cooling fan on and if we can visualize the temperature drop with the cooling fan on. For this Let's take a look at the first video of the recording. In this video you can see uh, the rectangle being printed first with the cooling fan off and then we turn on the cooling fan later on. This video simply visualizes the temperature gradient. We are printing at 40 millimeters per second. You can see the reflection of the nozzle in the heat bed itself and you can see where the plastic is actually extruded. There we have a much higher temperature and the temperature is spread over all of the 7 or 10 centimeters. Now the cooling fan is turned on and the temperature gradient is gone. You can see small difference, a small temperature difference, but it's not that high as it was before. What you can see in the video is that if the cooling fern turns on, the temperature gradient drops immediately. So let's go deeper into this. We made pictures uh, with the IR camera and in these pictures you can actually measure the temperature on small pixels. I took two pixels to give two reference points a temperature and what you can see if the cooling fan is off, you have a significantly higher temperature gradient than with the cooling fan on, of course. It kind of makes sense in all. And the temperature is about 25-26 degrees difference on about 7 centimeters. So the nozzle was around here, you can see the actual nozzle, and the both points were on this edge and here. This is about 7 centimeters. And if the cooling fan is on, the temperature gradient is only 1.8 degrees. So you have a super strict cut of temperature uh, when the cooling fan is off. So this kind of is the uh, basic explanation of PLA stringing. The material uh, is still pretty stringy when the temperature is high. And the cooling fan prevents this. I found this topic pretty interesting and we've done some further videos about the uh, printing of the Benchy. I will put the link at the end of the video so you can enjoy the printing uh, in a non-scientific way with some music because I actually think it looks also pretty awesome. So guys, uh, I hope you liked this video about the infrared radiation which comes out of your nozzle and I want to thank you guys for watching this video again. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you all a nice day and goodbye.